and here's uh, 96 boards here at the Qualcomm booth. Uh, so you're launching the Dragon Board 410C, right? Yes, we're launching the 410C uh, here in Maker Faire Shenzhen today. And so, it will be available at uh, Arrow uh, in the next two, three weeks for purchase. And so, uh, what's uh, what's the CPU? This is a 64-bit. It's a 64-bit Cortex A53 core. Uh, it's of course a Snapdragon 410. How many CPU cores? Chipset. Yeah, it's got uh, four. Quad core. Yes. Quad core A53. A53 with a Adreno. Uh, it's an uh, Adreno 306 graphics right. processor. Can we look around the ports and everything? So uh, can we look on the side? So you, oh, have, yeah, you have two USB. So uh, the board. I'm going to start from the bottom. It has two USB host ports. It has a USB device where you can connect and do ADB shell. It's got an HDMI port. It's a 1080p HDMI. It's got a micro SD card. And on the other end, you've got the uh, low speed connector. This is where you connect all your things, your IoT sensors and actuators. And then you also have a high-speed connector, the white connector over there, which has uh, two MIPI CSI ports. It has a DSI uh, port for display. It comes built in with uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and GPS. So uh, anything over here? Uh, there's there's nothing at the bottom. You just have a heat sink. This? That's a heat sink. Heat sink. Yes. So, so it, you, but it, it, you don't need a fan, right? It's just you don't. Like, it's a fanless processor. You don't need uh, anything at all. Every if you, Qualcomm processor is a fanless. It is fanless. Right? These are all mobile chipset. This this is the same chipset that you would find in uh, in tablets. All right. So uh, what are people gonna do with this? It's it's basically an embedded device, so you can use it for um, IoT, home automation, industrial automation, and robotics too. So it's it's more of a generic computing platform. Do you have some examples around the booth? Absolutely. What do you do? If you want to come around over here. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, what, what's this one, for example? So, so what is this? What is he doing here? We we basically put together a small project. Yeah. So uh, it's okay. It's okay. So uh, so so what 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 does it do? So uh, this project was just to demonstrate how easy it is to connect different kinds of sensors and actuators to the dragon board. And so there's a to... dragon board, and you connect. These are the dra this is the dragon board. We have used the low speed connector yeah. to connect it to uh, different kinds of sensors and actuators. So what is the, the what so do they do? We have an off the shelf color sensor, an off the shelf gesture, and a light sensor. And the whole point of this demo is to show that it's easy to connect sensors and at the same time you can render graphics in real time. Nice, Thanks. so this is using the built-in Adreno? It's using the built-in uh, Adreno 306 pro uh, graphics processor. And what is this app? Is this based on Android or...? What this is, is based on Android. All three systems over here are actually running Android which comes standard uh, pre-programmed into the Dragon Board. And uh, this is the same kind of demo? This is the same kind oh. of demo. Uh, if you can uh, come over there, I'll show you what the demo actually does. Okay. If you see what, what he's doing here is, uh, it's got a gesture sensor. Yeah. Left, right, you zoom in, zoom out. Right. Interesting. So the, the idea with this is that we are going to provide references as to how to interface different kinds of sensors. Very soon we're going to have these drivers uh, up on uh, the GitHub or Qualcomm uh, QDN website. So the drivers are based on the sensors? So, or yeah, drivers the drivers for the are, sensors are for Linux or Android or... Right? It's, it's basically uh, C, C++ drivers. Yeah. So it can work uh, both on Linux as well as Android. So we have, we also have a, a demo of this that's running on Linux, but it's not projected over here. The same driver is being used on Android for this particular app. It's possible to buy the sensors on the Iro too, or these sensors are from C. They're right next door. Just over, over there. there. Yeah. yeah. So the the point is, we want to be able to uh, give references for uh, modules that are available off the shelf. Right. Right. So you can take uh, sensor modules from Seed or Sparkfun, Adafruit, yeah. you name it. And you have more demos here? Or is we do have a couple of demos over here. So what is uh, what is he playing over there? So on uh, the, the second and the third monitor, you've got the Linux running. Like I yeah. told you, the, the Dragon Board can support Linux, Android, as well as Windows 10. 
today we have both Linux and Android uh, up and running. Windows 10 is running now or is coming? Uh, it's coming. It's going to be... As uh, soon as well, Microsoft we'll... is launching, you'll have it? Absolutely, yes. All right, and... Uh, so, what is exactly running right here? This is uh, Ubu uh, Ubuntu or Debian? Ubuntu. Or? Ubuntu, Ubuntu 15.04 is running on uh, the Dragon board. And, and with a graphics acceleration, or I still need? It looks like not. It's not graphics this is not, accelerated. This is not graphics accelerated. So can he make it accelerated? Oh, you need some engineers to optimize the GPU, uh, open oh, source, and stuff. We just don't. We just don't have the app over there that that can uh, optimize the graphics at this particular point. But there is some uh, open source Adreno, Adreno kind of stuff, Adreno right? Adreno is there. Is this supported by Qualcomm, or is only open source guys doing it? It's open source guy who is doing that. Adreno is by that person, and it's. Uh, it would be nice if Qualcomm actually did it like uh, gave them all the source code yes I'm well, just giving an idea because <laughs> <laughs> then you sure have... yeah we'll, we'll take a look at it in the future but today we have free, free Druino, and you know you can do a lot of amazing stuff with because it. it's really important uh, to be the GPU vendor for the Android based gaming ecosystem coming out but you, you need to have an open source for the, to be the leader so you actually do not need to hide your secrets I think well well that, that's uh, everybody's point of view but um, what we're trying to do is this is our first ever uh, entry into the community market so we're taking uh, step by step if you see what we have done in just the past couple of days it's pretty amazing a couple of days well, a couple of weeks. We've been working on it uh, for a couple of months now. Yeah. And uh, like I said, we launched, uh, we announced in uh, San Mateo Maker Faire over a month ago. Yeah. And uh, But now it's launching. Sure, yeah, that was uh, announcement. That's a real board. That was a real board. We actually yeah. had the real boards out yeah. there, but that was announcement. And like I said, you'll be launching today, but the boards will be available for sale in uh, two, three weeks. So what I meant to How say... How much? It's uh, priced somewhere around seventy-five to eighty dollars. Seventy-five to eighty dollars. You get a quad-core, sixty-four-bit development bit, board, built-in uh, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS, high-speed connectors with uh, camera. Are people excited around here at the Maker Fair? Absolutely, it's been going crazy over here. And I'm not sure if you were here uh, in the morning, nine o'clock. We had a workshop down there. So you have a workshop area where you have a bunch of guys learning, or what? Exactly. So what you saw around the corner over there. Yeah. The, the demo of the 3D uh, graphics, yeah. we made people do it. We taught them how to connect the uh, the, the sensors to the Dragon board. Nice. And they were able to uh, get the app up. Did you give them all a free board at uh, the end of the workshop? No, we don't. Since we don't have the boards available, yeah, ah, in okay. stock, two weeks later, we couldn't. Yeah, you got their emails up. and you'll send them some. I think uh, that's been uh, being Impossible. worked out uh, at this point. Maybe in the next uh, Maker Fair. You need to be I'm very, very, sure. very aggressive. No, there's lots of hackers around the world. Absolutely, and you can we just. Are you can grab them into the Qualcomm maker system by just giving them a board. Well, that's what we want to do, right? We, we, we've been thinking about it, but uh, we don't have the stocks as of today. So right. maybe in the next Maker Fair, we will uh, do that. Yeah. All right. And so, uh, what was this demo? Was this an Android? Uh, so this, this is, is uh, running Android. And this is fully uh, graphics yeah. accelerated. This is full graphics accelerated. It's running a, a standard uh, a tennis game. I think it's Sega, so if you can see what, how well the graphics works on a board that's just $75. We have Sega, we need to call up the Nintendo guys, and then uh, we have a console killer. Absolutely, I mean, that's that's where we want these boards to be. It's a general computing platform, it could be used for gaming, automation, robotics, you name it. What kind of robots? Any kind? Any kind. So the, our, our goal is to enable people to build things, right? Now since we have uh, two uh, camera ports, we have a display port, we have the low speed connectors, and you saw that uh, how easy it is to connect uh, different kinds of sensors, all these are building blocks for a robot, right? Now you can build a drone out of it, you can build a, a robot on wheels, a walking robot. It's left to your creativity, your imagination, and uh, your technical ability. But also Qualcomm has a lot of uh, engineers, a lot of money, right? So Qualcomm should actually show off some amazing robots as like uh, Qualcomm Nexus reference designs well, and start selling robots. Good point. Have you been to uh, the previous CES exhibitions? Conferences now. So you had some we, kind of demos, yes. right? We had drones up and running. We had uh, uh, robots on wheels with uh, computer vision. Robots that could actually do um, uh, artificial intelligence. 
So you should you should look. And it is up. it all open source? People, the hardware. So we do have a portion of the uh, the robotics reference platform as open source. Okay, so people can copy and improve. People can copy and improve. All right, yes. cool.